Welcome back to Gamer Treasures. Sean here. I've got another box out of the frozen Arctic of Ultimate Masters here that we're going to open up and see what we can snatch up. I have a feeling in my loins that there's going to be some extra good loot in one of these boxes. Okay, and put that up to the side. Okay, so I uh, got my 24 packs here out of the box and we are ready to go. Um, what's today? Tuesday. Um, didn't do a video yesterday. Just didn't feel like it. Um, really didn't have the time either. Had a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Got a foil double cleave. This one's been pretty uh, popular as far as cards go. First pack. We've got a mythic here. Platinum Imperion. There it goes. Yeah, I gotta do some laundry and some dishes here after I get done with this. And uh, just got done eating dinner. Two of my favorite shows currently are on tonight. Uh, I've been watching The Curse of Oak Island, which has been pretty lackluster. Uh, but I'm hoping they find something cool at some point, some gold or something. Um, and uh, nice. Also, Containment Priest. Um, Project Blue Book with um, Littlefinger from Game of Thrones has been pretty interesting too about uh, the actual project that the government ran investigating anomalies and UFOs back in, I think it was in the 50s and 60s um, based on true events has been pretty crazy. I don't know how true events, but the interpretation of the story I don't think is true because it's pretty crazy. Got a foil circular logic. And a seismic assault. So far, nothing really good. Even the Platinum Imperion isn't the best mythic. Got a citizen token, a foil death denied, and a celestial colony. That one's not bad. I think it's probably about 15 bucks. What's your guys' favorite shows right now? Is there a certain day a week you guys watch a certain show or something? Comment below. Got a foil hooting mandrills and a reanimate. Reanimate's not bad either. Currently waiting on Game of Thrones to start back up. I think it comes in April. I think I looked, it's like 40 days out. Foil ghoul steed. I've pulled several of these ghoul steeds. And a squee goblin nabob. One of my least favorite things to pull along with Magus of Bazaar. So I didn't like that pack. It's been pretty crappy out lately. Um. I don't think I'm going to be going to the Hunter Burton Memorial Open. Um, I sent an SOS out saying, hey, you know, I need one other person to go to Split Gas and Hotel, and I would go, um, and I would have had to throw in some decks together for whatever events I got in, and no one wanted to go, so I can't, I can't justify spending that kind of money to go by myself, um, unfortunately, so maybe I'll be able to go next year. Got a Revel Arc. Um, so that was... Uh, uneventful i really wanted to go but you know you got to be realistic and you got to be an adult and keep to your responsibilities of paying your bills and budgeting and that sort of thing got a ooze token a foil scuzzback marauder oh and a dark depths so uh, i think that's my second dark depths total that i've pulled out of uh I don't know how many boxes this is. I think we're on like 15 or 16 boxes now I've opened to this. Something like that. Um, only pulled two Dark Deaths. And I don't think I've pulled an Imrakul yet. Out of that many boxes. It's, it's nuts. I've only pulled one Karn and two Lilies. Zombie Token. Ooh, that one's not bad. Foil Gurmag Angler. That's kind of cool. And a Thespian Stage. Got a Spirit Token. A Foil Seder Wayfinder. And an ancient tomb, if that helps at all. Also had a kitchen finks in there. Another crazy thing that happened uh, today. This is Tuesday. What is it? March fifth. And uh, foil shred weakness. And oh, nice, a bitter blossom. Another mythic. That's cool. Um, I had a played tabernacle of Pendrovel I picked up, and uh, I posted it for sale on Facebook. And I was asking 1400 in my pocket for it. Ended up getting a couple offers from some guys that were wanting to play it in old school or something. 
and somebody offered me 1200 somebody offered me 1100 and I passed up on it because I was like, this is the cheapest one out there available. It was kind of moderate to heavy play in that area, maybe closer to heavy play. And, uh, and uh, so I was like, okay, I'm going to put it up on eBay. I put it up on eBay early this morning. I was up like a crackhead at like 4 o'clock in the morning. I ended up getting it listed. And uh, I had an offer come in automatically, declined offers under 1500 So I had two come in. Those got auto-declined. And then another buyer, the third buyer that I sent in a bid, sent me a bid for, um, I think it was 1500 even, and I was asking 1700 And I countered back with a, uh, you know, hey, can you do 1615 uh, shipping included and everything. I do free shipping. I was like, that's kind of where I need to be at because the fees, because you had 2.9% PayPal plus 30 cents. And then uh, eBay is going to take about 10% roughly. It's actually a little less than that because I'm a bigger store, so I get a 10% discount. So it's more like 9%, something like that. Um, and uh, he messaged me. He said, yeah, I'll take it. I'll pay you here in a couple hours. And so he bought it. And then a couple hours later, he paid me for it and ask if I could send it with signature confirmation, which I always do if it's over a thousand bucks. And uh, got that deal done, ended up selling it for 1615, uh, which actually netted me more than the 1400 I was wanting on Facebook. Um, so those people that didn't want to pay 1400 on Facebook, I ended up getting after fees and stuff. It's roughly not quite about $150 in fees. Um, so I ended up getting about fourteen fifty to fourteen seventy five somewhere in there. So I actually ended up making out an extra fifty seventy five dollars in profit, which is pretty good with me. Got a ooze token, a foil spider spawning. I remember when this was an in Innistrad, and uh, you had a combo where you could do that and keep recycling with some other blue cards, and just ended up winning the game with spider tokens. Fauna shaman, counter squall. Super not excited. I got a bunch of mythics, but nothing like. Super over the top yet. Foil Verdant Eidolon. Dig through time. I haven't really pulled that many dig through times in this set either. I think I've only pulled like two or three out of 15, 16 boxes. It's kind of insane. Homunculus. Foil Flight of Fancy. Sovereigns of Lost Alara. I don't really care for that one. I got a whole bunch of those. Foil Ether Snipe. And then All is Dust. That's not bad. Used to be a $30 card. I think it's down to about 10 now because of the reprint. But. It'll eventually creep back up. Here in the middle of this, we're going to do the box topper in the middle here now. Got a little bit of curling in it, just like the rest of them. Let's go ahead and see what it is. Oh, nice. We've got a Kozilig. The Butcher of Truth. Not super horrible. I like the art, the extended art. Um, you can see the foiling things a little off center on it. I, I don't know if I pulled this one or not. I may have already pulled this one. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, we're going to go ahead and put this in a sleeve. And uh, also a hard case here real quick. Box. Got a zombie token, a foil Mona Unhollowed. Nice engineer explosive. I think that one's about $40. You can see how off center these foil stamps are. This one's shifted to the right a little bit. That wasn't bad. That engineer explosive is more expensive than Moths and Mythic. Got an Elemental, a Foil Ronum Unicorn, and a Noble Hierarch. Nice. Back-to-back -back $40 rares, at least. Um, I don't think they've gone down. They might have went up. They might be closer to 50 now. I'm not 100% on that. Fairy Rogue token. Got a Foil Nightbird's Clutches, and one of the worst rares in the set, Spoils of the Vault. Kind of gave that one away a little bit too soon. The cards spread out on me a little bit. Got a Spider token. Nice Foil Rare, Foil Woodfall Primus. I'm going to put that in with the rares and a Seize the Day. Got a Zombie Token, a Foil Groundskeeper. Got a couple of those. And a Maelstrom Pulse. Not bad. It's only worth $5 now, but a good card. Got a Homunculus. A, whoa, Homunculus followed by a Foil Stitches Apprentice that creates Homunculuses. And a Tassiger. The Golden Fang. Got a spirit token, a foil foil. This is my third foil foil. I was sorting some of the cards from these boxes yesterday, and I had two foil foils. Oh, nice of you to come see us again, Lily. That was a good pull. So, yeah, that's sweet. You can see. Look at how far that this stamp is off. 
Worm Token, a Foil Heap Doll, and a Tauran Sky Summoner. I don't like that guy, but whatever. Just got a Lily. Can't be upset about that. Um, so that looks like uh, this is the box. You got, uh, let me see here, five Mythics in that box. Um, of course, Lily being the best card with the with the box topper Kozlig, and then you got Dark Death, Bitter Blossom, and Platinum Imperium, and then we got some good rares over here. So I've had better, and I've had worse than this, but this is better than average, I think, for me. Um, appreciate you guys watching. If you can, drop a comment below to join the conversation. Also, if you can, hit, smash that like button for me if you like the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you could, please do that if if you want to. And uh, we'll see you uh, probably tomorrow for another box opening of Ultimate Masters. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Have a great week.